the KS Stacked RTA. The Stacked RTA was sent to me for review directly from Chaos. This is a collaboration project between Chaos and Tony B from the Vapor Trail channel. This is a dual coil, rebuildable tank with a unique stacked clamp system. In Tony's announcement of the Stacked RTA, he talked about how Chaos started with a design and Tony helped to improve it, including making it easier and safer to use. And from the sounds of it, it seems like Tony really improved this tank over several iterations. So let's talk about it. It's 24 millimeters in diameter, 46 millimeters tall, it's a bottom airflow tank, it holds 3 mils or 5 mils e-juice. It's made with 304 stainless steel, has a clamp coil system, and it comes in two colors, black and silver. In the box you get the stacked RTA, a spare straight 3 mil glass tube, an 810 drip tip, two Clapton coils, a 510 drip tip adapter, a screwdriver, spare parts, and a user manual. It's a nice looking tank. I have both the black and silver models, and they both look great. From what I understand, the paint on the black one goes through a special process so that it won't chip on the inside. So that's good to know. You can use either the pre-installed bubble glass or the straight glass tube, depending on how you want it to look or how much e-juice you want it to hold. It's also really short, and that was one of the things that Tony set out to do with this. He wanted it as short as he could get it, so overall I think it looks nice. You get two drip tips to pick from, one black 510 Delrin tip and a larger 810 acrylic drip tip. The acrylic tip is much shorter than the black one, but the black tip has the same outer diameter so that it fits into that 810 size top cap, which is nice. The accessories bag also comes with a 510 adapter so that you can use other smaller 510 drip tips. There are grips on the top cap, making it easier to unscrew and fill. And something that I want to point out here is how the top cap fits over the glass and chimney section. The inside of the top cap fits around the chimney section, creating a seal, while the outer part of the top cap goes over the metal rim of that fill piece, and this makes it so that it's less likely to leak and so that you don't have to crank that top cap down to prevent leaking. One of my biggest complaints with tanks that have threaded top caps is that they get so tight that it's damn near impossible to loosen them without pliers. With this design, you don't need to tighten it down so much, which makes over tightening less likely, so I like that a lot. And here's another little tiny feature that they added. There's these little notches in the top cap. This is designed to let air escape while you're sealing it up. So that should help prevent building up too much pressure and causing leaks. The fill ports are also really big, making the stacked RTA easy to fill. There are two airflow slots, one on each side. Both are pretty big and provide a lot of airflow when it's wide open. And you can get quite a lot of air through this tank. The airflow isn't super smooth and maybe even a little loud, but it's not too bad. The airflow control ring is really tight and hard to turn right out of the box. I was getting finger cramps trying to turn this damn thing, but after you use it for a while, it, it really loosens up. Also a common issue that I've heard is that the airflow control ring doesn't turn while it's on the device, and that's because it sits so low on the base of the deck. It, it's basically flush with the base, so it gets sandwiched against the device that you're using, so you just can't turn it. That probably depends on the device that you're using and how tight you screw the tank down, but on the few devices that I tested it on, the airflow control ring still turns, but because of how close it sits to the device, it's a little hard to get your fingers in there to turn it. All right, let's talk about the deck. So in Tony's demonstration of the stacked RTA, he mentions that the deck was inspired by the lit and the layer cake RTA, and he wanted to make that design better. So if it looks similar to you, that's because it is. Insulators sitting between the metal plates are made of ceramic zirconia, which is also really unique. They are non-conductive and high strength, so you shouldn't have to worry about melting them. Tony says that they are a little more expensive, but Chaos took his advice and used them anyway without passing the cost on to the consumer, supposedly. The posts on the deck use spring-loaded clamps, so it's pretty easy to open and close and install coils. And it's really cool that Chaos included spare springs in the package in case you lose one, which might happen. You can unscrew these posts, and the, the screws will come all the way out. So the, the screws don't just fall out, so you would have to pull it out to lose a spring. But once the screw is out, that screw can go anywhere if you're not careful. If you tighten down the coils without clipping the leads, it's really hard to get in there to clip those lower leads. So I found that it's easiest to get your coils in place, lock down one side, position the coils where you want them on the open end, and then clip the lower lead. Then you can tighten it down where you want it and then do the other side. It's really not too difficult. You wanna make sure that the coils are placed directly above the airflow holes to get the best flavor. That's pretty easy to do anyway, since you'll need to keep the coils close to the clamps so that they fit inside that chimney section. You can fit some decent sized coils in here, but if you're like me and you like to space your coils, you'll have to be careful that they fit inside the chimney piece and they don't cause a short by touching the metal. You can also use mesh in this tank since the clamp slots are flat. I don't have any mesh to test it out, but KS mentions it as a feature. To wick the stacked RTA, you can put your cotton all the way into the juice well if you want, but you really only need to poke it through the wick holes. 
as long as the wicks are below the deck, it'll wick just fine. So it performs well, you can get some nice big hits depending on your build, and there's plenty of airflow to get big clouds. The flavor is good too. It's not the most impressive flavor ever, but it's pretty good. And wicking is good too, but that's something that you'll have to play around with and learn uh, to find out what works best for you. And something that I have noticed about the flavor, that it just pr produces better flavor at higher wattages. And higher wattages for me, meaning around 80 watts to 90 watts. So that's the stacked RTA. It's a nice dual coil rebuildable tank with decent flavor. It has a lot of airflow and it wicks really well if you, if you wick it the right way. The clamp coil system is easy to use and I like the little features that Tony added. The main con that I have is that the airflow is really tough to move since that that ring is flush with the base but really it's a nice rta so you can get the stacked rta online for around 30 to 35 dollars all right that's it thanks for checking this one out and i'll catch you on the next one